A very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so very much for joining the live signatures episodes here on the podcast, which is a daily one. We talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience every working day. By God's grace, we've been doing this for years on end and every single day. This is episode number 300 and something in this year alone. Okay, because the year has 365 days, we are already in December 20, December 3rd of December 4th, and there is not a single day in 2023, by God's grace, that an episode has missed. This is amazing stuff, and I'm grateful that we're doing this. We are in the middle of a series. We're talking about, what are we talking about? Talking about the road less traveled, and we're talking about the burden of ourselves on the road less traveled. What are the facts? Factors that influence our self bathing process. Let us look at one more today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Recap is going to help us here. What are the factors that influence our self bathing process? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to go back four, five, six episodes back and start listening to these things so they can put it, them into perspective. But the first thing is desire. Without desire, there cannot be self bath. What is self bath? It is intentionally coming to terms with who you are and making a decision on the direction that your life is going to go. What will determine the success and the fulfillment of your life from that moment on? That is the self burden process I'm talking about. It cannot happen, number one, without desire. And if it's going to happen, number two, you've got to realize and obey the fact that you are unique. You're not like everybody else. You cannot do the self burden process in a classroom. It is in seclusion. Number three, it's a calling. Now, there is a predestination upon my life, upon your life. Before you were born, there is a predestination. That's why you are equipped the way you are. It's a calling. And the calling, you cannot run away from it. And we say the biggest missed call in life is the call of purpose. But then number four, we talked about passion, which was yesterday. That passion that produces things. Okay? Today, let us talk about something else. This is, it's connected. I love it. It's really connected to all these things we're talking about. Today, the self button process, you've got to realize that it has to be predicated on ability. Pause. Pause. Pause right there. How many times? How many times have we forced people? into school and into classrooms when they don't have the slightest inclination of academics they don't have the ability to succeed academically we know we know they cannot succeed we know they will never succeed we know they are dunderheads excuse my french as far as that is concerned we know as far as education academics is concerned they will not pass. But we keep hoping. We keep praying. We keep t- taking them from one priest to another. One prophet to another. Thinking that we're going to lay hands on them. And then they're going to voila have the ability. God is going to give them a miraculous brain. God already gave these people abilities elsewhere. Ladies and gentlemen. 
and the self bathing process has got to agree to the fact that I cannot be a doctor. I cannot in a million years. Of course, an, a Christian will punch the hole in that saying and say, God said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Really? So how come you're not doing that which you're not able to do, that which you do not have capacity to do, which you desire to do? How come you are not doing it? Before you can quote for me, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Don't give me theory. Give me practical. Tell me what you've done that you don't have the ability to do because Christ has strengthened you. Then we can talk. Because that is not how Christ formed you in the first place. He gave you unique ability for some things. And he did not give you a unique ability for all things. He gave you unique ability for some things. Even in the Gospels themselves, the way Paul wrote is not the same way Peter wrote. It's not the same way Peter did stuff and so on. You, you get what I'm saying? There's uniqueness. We talked about uniqueness some three, four episodes back. The uniqueness in humanity is something seriously ignored. We put people together thinking that we all have the ability to do the same thing. And we put all our kids through school through academics, let me not mess up the word school because school is absolutely paramount, absolutely important. But the thing, the thing that we do is academics. We force people to go through academics. And even in academics itself, it's okay. It's okay for people to be good at arts and to mess in mathematics. Why in the world are you forcing mathematics down their throats? They cannot do it. They do not have the capacity to do it. They do not have the ability to do it. Some years back, one of the most successful American presidents, who was a movie actor, forgot his name. I keep forgetting his name. He was asked, how come you're successful? You're not an economist. You're a movie actor. I mean, the press were totally I mean they, they were against the guy but he was having results you know this Republican Democrat kind of thing when the press is not if for, is for Democrats they will say all the negative things about the Republican so that's how it was for him but he was excel, excelling and they asked him how do you do it I mean you, you're not a genius in economics how do you make this thing work you know what he said he said I hire my weaknesses. That's the secret of life. If you're giving back to yourself, you've got to realize you are weak somewhere. You have blind sides somewhere. You are not God. I am not God. Cannot do all things. I have weaknesses. And as long as I have weaknesses, the good news is that I have strength and I also have opportunities. The self bathing process has got to realize this and has got to obey this to the letter. Because if we don't, you'll find very many people round holes in square pegs or square pegs in round holes all over the place. You'll find people who are not supposed to be nurses shouting at patients. I mean, not caring about patients because it's a task it's a job because I've got to pay my bills. And you go home, with, like your face looks like you've been baptized in lemon juice. You curse the patients, you curse the staff that you're working with because you hate the job, because you have the ability, I mean, you have the capacity in terms of skills and so on, but it's not, that's not what you're called to do. The calling we're talking about has got to balance with the abilities that we have. It is true both ways. It is true that you can have the ability to do stuff, but don't have the calling to do it. But it's also true that you can have the interest, the passion, but you don't have the capacity. We talked about passion. We don't have the capacity to do it. How many people have the passion to play basketball, but they don't have the capacity the skill, the talent, the gifting is not there. 
when we are giving back to ourselves, we will always realize that it is connected to what you can do. Not what you cannot do, at least naturally. At times, what you cannot do is something within your field of passion. So you can go and you learn and you can do it. That means you add some skills to it. However, even before you can learn something outside of your ability, there are some things that are already within your ability to accomplish. Already in it, naturally inside of you. So if you're going to self bath then these things must be strengthened, amplified. These things will also determine your self burden Those that are outside of your ability can only be achieved through that process of giving birth to yourself also. Ability. What can I do? Miles Monroe has five questions and one of those questions is what can I do? What can you do? I can speak. I can inspire. I can write. I can equip. I can mastermind. I can spar ideas. That's what I can do. That's my ability. My button process must respect that ability. And the problem I have with academics is that these things are never recognized. If they are recognized, they are not prioritized. They will change all these curriculums all they want. And the, the things that they are doing, I really, the, the calling is in Kenya, curriculum best, uh, competency best curriculum. And you know what they do in the, the competency best curriculum? A lot of baloney that all kids to go and cook, all of them, by the way, all of them, go and cook and go and talk to your parents to, 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 to do a donkey ride, all of them. In other words, the abilities, the unique abilities for people are not being recognized. You might call it competency best all you want, but if you're harding people through it, forget it. It's not competency best. I think you have the concept, but you're getting the concept wrong. The concept of competency best has have to have the root or the foundation of unique abilities in people. And has got to respect that. And I know it's a conundrum because you cannot start examining these different unique abilities. There is no one template, one examination paper. The problem in academics is that we have one examination paper and one answer sheet. And all answers must be the same. But when it comes to abilities, I am different from that guy right there. We might both be speakers, but I speak to people on the subject of purpose, but him, he speaks to people on the subject of sales. We're different. Our abilities are different. That, that's why the competency-based curriculum is, is a good initiative, but it's got to evolve. And I know it's very expensive. It's very weird, very uncertain, very cumbersome. It's very adventurous. And we've got to dig deeper than what we are doing at the moment. That's why I'm saying the self bathing process is going to be done in seclusion. But if you're going to give birth to yourself, my friend, you and I will have to realize what our abilities are. And some of these things can actually be realized by a simple test online, disc test, or whatever. Uh, uh, I've forgotten the name of the other. Anyway, profile, personality profile test. Just go and do a personality profile test. Or pay some guys like you, Unique. Sorry, some guys like you, Science. Pay them $10 and do a thorough test for 30 minutes. They will tell you these are your abilities to the dregs of details. But we don't want to do that, do we? Tomorrow we bring this mini series to a close. Until then, bye bye. Mm-hmm.
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.